Let's go. So today I want to talk to you about Lightroom keyboard shortcuts. The reason I talk about these is because it's no secret that keyboard shortcuts, whether you're working in Lightroom or Photoshop, are going to uh, speed up your workflow and improve your efficiency when you're working inside of these programs. There's nothing worse than like digging for things that you could easily hit one button or two buttons to do versus moving your mouse or things like that. So it's really important that you get to know and understand the keyboard shortcuts inside of Lightroom or Photoshop, whichever program you're working in. And if you're working in both programs, you really should be learning the keyboard shortcuts for both programs. But I know that that could be a little overwhelming. And I also know that using keyboard shortcuts can be a little confusing and time consuming to learn. So I just wanted to give you a couple of helpful hints or tips to um, help facilitate the learning process when it comes to um, getting some of these keyboard shortcuts under your belt. So the first thing is, if you're anything like me, then you're um, a huge note taker. Um, I write notes for for anything and everything um, that I'm doing, learning, what have you. Um, as well as being a visual learner, I think if as an artist, we're all visual learners, but a lot of us take notes. So here's my first tip. My first tip is don't bury your keyboard shortcuts in with all of your other notes. If you're watching video tutorials like this here on YouTube or anyone else's channel, first of all, if you're watching someone else's channel, that's going to make me a little bit sad. But when you're watching this channel in particular, don't put the keyboard shortcuts that I say and bury them in your notes because after three or four pages of notes, uh, or more, it's going to be really hard to go back and find those shortcuts. So take a separate piece of paper and write all your keyboard shortcuts down on that. The second tip that I have is don't try and learn them all at once. Take two or three keyboard shortcuts and just keep using those until you feel like you've mastered them or remember, remember them like, like walking or eating. Um, they should just become kind of second nature to you. Once you've learned those, then take on another three or four or whatever you feel like you can handle shortcuts and keep practicing those until you learn those. And before you know it, you'll know 20, 25 keyboard shortcuts um, and you'll be getting around these programs pretty easily. The third tip that I want to tell you is that even though there are a ton of printable keyboard shortcuts out there that you could download, um, and scribble on uh, as a separate piece of paper. What you might not know is that the keyboard shortcuts are actually accessible to you right here inside of Lightroom, and they're specific to whichever module you're working in. So let me give you an example. Right now, I'm in the develop module. If I want to see some keyboard shortcuts that only pertain to the develop module, all I have to do on a Mac is hold my command key down. If you're on a PC, it'll be control, but you're gonna hold command and hit the forward slash key, and that immediately is gonna pull up the keyboard shortcuts for that particular module. And if you wanna get out of here, you can just click on the keyboard shortcut on your screen and it'll disappear. Let's go to the library module and show you how that works there. It's the exact same keyboard shortcut command or control forward slash, but this time the keyboard shortcuts are specific to the module that I'm working in. This is really, really handy because one, it saves us from cutting down any trees and saves us some paper. And maybe even if you have printed out some keyboard shortcuts, it may not be right in front of you. If you're not organized or maybe you put it away somewhere, this you can just pull up right on the screen, look for the keyboard shortcut, and then make it disappear. This also goes back to my original point. It makes it really, really handy for learning three or four keyboard shortcuts at a time so that you can kind of start to master these keyboard shortcuts and speed up your workflow. 
So those are just three really quick tips that I had as it relates to using keyboard shortcuts. I definitely think that you should be using them. It will make a huge difference as time goes on. And uh, in the meantime, until you learn those keyboard shortcuts, I'll make sure that with every video, as we always do, that I'll keep putting up the keyboard shortcuts that we're talking about in that episode in the left-hand panel of our video, as well as in the description down below or even in our blog posts. If there's anything that else that I can do to make learning keyboard shortcuts a little bit easier for you, leave us a comment down below. I'd love to know what we can do to help you out there. And if you wanna see more content like this, give us a thumbs up. As always, subscribe to our channel so you see all of the new content that comes out as soon as it comes out. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Adam. I'm out.